Are, are you going to push? Yeah. Are you leaving? Gaddar, dhokhe baaz. I'm going to put this on camera. Karen. <laughs> Hi Raj, welcome Hi, to the show. Really. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, how does it feel to be... Uh, in fact, that, that's actually a very, you know, pressing question in my head. How's life being a fitness trainer? Let me rephrase. How's life being a legit fitness trainer? I'll tell you why. Because, yeah, because I'll, you know, that's what I see nowadays. So, not like someone who just, uh, you know, went uh, to an air-conditioned gym for one year, gained a couple of pounds of muscle and, you know, next thing you know, his Instagram profile is online coaching available. Right. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, so you've been in this line since? Uh, it's been a couple of years. I mean, I've been training myself for the last 10 to 12 years. 10 to 12 years. 10 to 12 years. Weight training. Yes. Weight Pure training. weight training. Pure weight training, yes. Nice, nice. So, so how, how's life as a trainer? Like, you know, this uh, job, this lifestyle. I've uh, enjoyed it from the very first day. Nice. I've had, so before I even took it as a you know, full-time profession, I had, uh, whenever I would be working out in the gym, I've always had people surround, my surroundings have always been people come and ask me, how do we do this, how do we do that? Right. So initially before, I mean, once one, well, I got into it during my time, now I'm not talking about that I'm very old, but yeah, during when I started it and then... Uh, A decade know, ago, let's call it a decade uh, ago, 10 years ago. Right? Yeah, 10, 10 years ago, right. so it was like bro science, you, mm-hmm. you know? You do this, this is what's going to work. Right. You do that. So slowly, slowly, I mean, everybody came and mm-hmm. asked me, how do you do this? How do you do that? Right. Then eventually I knew that my calling was always into fitness. I would wake up early for the gym, nice. go for a workout, have my meals on time. But if you'd ever told my mom, would ever tell me, sit and study. Or it would never happen. <laughs> you know, she would always tell me, when you have to go to the gym, you get up early. You always go, take your ass and go quickly. Yeah. But the moment you have to sit down for studies, you're always lagging. Yeah. So I said, yes, you know, let's see. So I worked in the corporate field for a couple of years. Right. Uh, my background was uh, an artist. I would do paintings and stuff. Graphic nice. designer. She, she's a graphic designer. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and uh, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, still, even when I was in office, I always ended up watching a lot of uh, workout videos. I would love to spend the whole day in the gym. Let, let me ask you something. So, when when uh, you, you know, you said that you woke up early because of the gym, yeah, you yeah. wanted to go to the gym. Yeah, yeah. But were you doing that because of the end product and because of because that you were working out and you wanted that body because of, you know, girls or whatever, something uh, like that? It can be anything. It could be anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'll put it this way. Uh, right. I used to travel to a different city from, I'm basically from Kenya. Right, yeah. I've been born and brought up there. Right. So from Kenya, my place, I used to go to the neighboring country, which is uh, Tanzania. Okay. That's where my mom, cousin, brothers used to reside. Right. And her, part of her family. So where, my, I just know Nairobi in Kenya. Right? Like that's, yeah, that's the capital city. That's the capital. Yeah, so Tanzania is a neighboring country of Kenya. No, but yeah, you, like, uh, were, were you I'm in from Mombasa, Mombasa, which is in Kenya. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, it's by the coast. Hmm. Yeah, so I used to go to my granny's place for vacation. Oh. So my mama's friends were all bodybuilders. So they would have a gym in the backyard. They would have all those old school, you know, benches built with the... So when wood. The, your mother used to scold you, we are talking Kenya, we are not talking India. Like we're no, we're talking, talking Kenya. Kenya. Oh, okay, yes. okay. So I, when I used to visit my granny for vacations, I used to spend time with a lot with my mama. Right. And he used to take me to his friend's place. So right. all these boys used to work out. And when I used to see them, I used to see big biceps, you know, good physique. Right. Old school gyms, but then they used to, you know... Push right. in whatever they could. So that was an inspiration for me. So I picked it up from there. Right. And then I started slowly, 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 got into interest. But yeah, I've never uh, uh, wanted to do it because of showing it off to the girls. Right. I did want to. At, at one point, you do feel that maybe, yeah, if you have a good physique, you know, the girls may look at you. It matters. Yeah. It matters. But uh, <laughs> over a period of time, I think it uh, turned out to be that it's good to do it for yourself. Yeah. Because you do it for somebody, if that person goes, you're done. Yeah. So I've experienced that with a partner as well. Okay. You know, in the sense, a guy. So I used to go with him for a workout. Lelki gave so the guy was like... Yeah, no. So what just <laughs> happened was I used to cross his home uh-huh. and then I used to go with him to the gym. So right. there were days that happened that uh, he would have a friend come over. Uh-huh. So a couple of times I did walk to his home and he would just tell me from the door that I am busy. I've got friends over. Right. So I would understand. Yeah. Why would a guy leave gym for another guy? Yeah. It would definitely tell not yeah. possible to do, you mm. know, unless if he's a different... But it also yeah. happens, like, if you are into fitness, mm. and you're doing it just because you want attention from girls, you let yourself go once you get a girl, because you're like, oh, I already have a girlfriend, why do I... That, that, that's now? a possibility, yeah, that's yeah, a that's big a, possibility, yeah, yeah. that's a yeah. possibility. So yeah. you get a point, then, okay, I'll yeah, do the fuck yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it, it, if we go back again, it's like, okay, I have a big, big belly, I'm fat, I'm getting married in three months, I need to lose a couple of pounds. Mm. 
This is one thing that has happened a lot of times with me. A lot of people come. Oh, Raj, I want you to train me. Okay, what's your goal? Nothing, I'm getting married. So now before the client comes and tells me, I said, are you getting married? <laughs> no, 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 I want to do it for myself. I said, then come, I'll spend, waste all so my time. You, so you say no if someone like that comes? Or you no, I don't say no. Me, but I try and uh, tell them that, okay, that's good. But make sure you continue. It's a lifelong thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a lifelong thing. Yeah. It's wrong that once it's flat and then, okay, once yeah. the wife has seen you, everything is done. <laughs> buy me, yeah, lift up your shirt, they've seen the six pack. And then, okay, now let's start, you know, pounding on those yeah, yeah, yeah. couple of kilos. So I do tell them that don't take it like that. Mm. You know, come work out for yourself because fine, you are doing it for your wife. Very right. good. Somebody is motivating you to do it. Yeah. Very nice. But then make sure after your wife is just not you and your wife. You have your little, you know, tiny minis that will come out. Right. And they will have to see my daddy is strong. And when you go drop them to the school and they see one big belly potato <laughs> couch guy sitting there and say, oh, that's my daddy. Obviously, you know. So I try and drill something or the other to them. Mm. And not only that's not only about the kids, but if you look at it long term, it is good for your own health. If you are fit yeah. and fine, you'll be able to work. Yeah. Otherwise, what's the point of all that money that you keep typing out? It just comes into your account. You see it. Oh, I'm happy. I'm rich. Next thing you're going and doing, you're going to bring it to the doctor. Sir, right. please help me. Yeah. I've got a heart problem. Nice. I've got this. I've got that. You Serious know? matter. Yeah. So, I try and put it to them that way because that is a fact. I don't uh, preach something just to try and eat their money or something. Mm. I don't do that. Yep. So, if they come with genuine reasons and they have their uh, issues or they have uh, a really good goal to for, mm. you know, focus on, then, yeah, why not? Yeah. So, yes. So, this was Kenya. So, when when did India happen? Okay. So, how, then, how did it happen? so after that, uh, yeah, we'll go again. We'll go yeah, back, back to back school, to old yeah. school days. Yeah. So, I used to see them work out and stuff. So, that inspired me. Yeah. So, I used to go to the gym there also. I didn't have any knowledge at that time. Right. So, I just ended up taking membership in the gym at one of the clubs there. And uh, I used to go with my friend during right. s- school holidays. So, we had like uh, summer holidays for two months. Right. So, I would go to the gym in the morning hmm. or sometimes in the evenings. So, I used to go with a friend. Again, that's when I started experiencing that having a partner is not a good idea for me. Okay. From that time. So while, I was like while working out? While you're working out? Even, yes. even during your reps and all? Because I've always seen you with partners. No, no. That's here. Okay. This was when I started initially. Right, so right. That, it was, that guy wasn't serious. He would come mm. just do and he would tell me, Raj, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I told him, see man, you can go if you want to. Mm. So a couple of times I didn't say anything to him. But then when he hit my head, I told him nicely, see man, there's the door you can always walk out. Right. Leave me. I'll finish my set and I'll go home. Mm. So after that I understood. So it was... Uh, you just have to choose your partners. Right. I mean, who is dedicated and not. Hmm. So like that I grew and then I had to, uh, my mom uh, sent me here for studies. So I came here, but I would make sure that I still hit the gym in the morning. Every I used to, every day, every single day, Monday to Saturday, no matter what. Come yeah. what may, whether it's raining, snowing, hailstorms, there's an earthquake, good touch with nothing has yeah. happened so far. Yeah. But yeah, I would still go to the gym. Hmm. I used to not tell my uncle, he used to be my guardian. Uh-huh. I would never tell him that I'm going to the gym. Okay. I would go to the gym. Telling him I'm in class, I would uh-huh. still go to the gym, work up, and he would call me, never answer his phone. Yeah. And then when I go home, he told me, oh, I was in class. Uh-huh. So there was too much studies going on, so my <laughs> phone was somewhere in the bag, I couldn't hear it. So I used to give him all these reasons, and eventually, yeah. obviously, he found out that I'm working out. And also. I'm sure yeah. he will, you right? Like, <laughs> like, dude, what kind of studies yeah, are you doing? He, he asked me, <laughs> how heavy are your pens, dude? Yeah, how, how heavy are your books? And then he used to ask me that, uh, where does your money go? I said, in food. He said, he asked me, are you sick? I said, you don't have to be sick to eat food, man. I'm young, I'm growing. One you question, know? one yeah. question. When you were young, bro yeah. science. Yes. And during the bro science yeah. phase. Because everyone has gone through that. Yes, Even yes. the champ right yeah, now yeah. must have gone through yeah. bro science. Bro science is when you... You work out, you tell somebody to do something just knowing that you tell... You, you've done it and that's it. Yeah, it spreads. It's kind of spread. It's not uh, proper science, science that yeah, yeah. is involved in muscle building, but it's more like, you know, ki achha isse karo ke itne ande khalo to yeh jayega. Itne, that, 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 yeah, something like that. So, bro science. It's like, humane so, tujhe bataya. So, you, 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 you have to explain the women in their terms. Okay. They come and tell you, use uh, head and shoulders, your hair will stop falling and you'll get super silky hair. Oh yeah, let's use that. Now, this is what Now, this spreads. Yeah, so, yeah. like this. Cis science, yeah. whatever you yeah, want to call it. Yeah. Girl science. <laughs> Cis science sounded yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the question was related to Ande. So, uh, during the bro science phase, uh, and uh, I'm sure when you were a student, or you know, there's always this budget thing, and you didn't have protein shake, or if yeah, you have yes. seen that phase. Yes, I have gone through so, yeah. so, I'm sure. So, if that ever happened, which is a lovely phase, I think. Where, yes, you know, you, yes. need to, you get to learn a lot of things. Yes, like that yes, absolutely. So, how many eggs did you like during that time? Yeah, to be honest, even if I would get because uh, I've heard ma- crazy numbers sometimes people go. So, have you right. ever gone? I've gone through uh, 
in a the day. phase in, in a day so okay i have not now if you ask me it's no, 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 protein that, that, that time yeah. when you were like i need protein yes. you don't know the consequences ki zyada khaoge to kya hoga right. but yeah so at that time there was like i said there was bro science so there was no guidance in what right. to eat what not to hmm. eat people would just say have chicken and have sure, eggs yeah. how many the number were never told you. exactly so i would probably have two eggs sometimes hmm. if there is no milk you just have to shut your nose and gulp it down yeah and if there is no chicken and no eggs then i used to have chinese i used to have sometimes if i'm hungry you go down yeah. to one of those stalls and you have that dai puri whatever yeah, yeah. so i have those years i have built my physique by eating junk right every day you would see the chinese rice chicken uh-huh. and but you still go to the gym and you still yeah. build yeah, yeah and there was no calculation like okay it, this is how much you need to you eat you might be getting not. muscles but you're ruining your health with that right you yeah. you get you put on more fat and then you just look yeah. big yeah and this is not good for your gut Yeah, yeah obviously they, not. I mean, they put like MSG and stuff. All the Chinese, they're yes, like yes, exactly. They put that Ajino motor. Yeah, MSG. I mean, MSG, any yeah. any kind of food that you overeat, obviously, it's going to be bad. Mm. But that time mm. there was no measurements, right? That if I eat only one egg or uh-huh. eat only two hundred gram chicken, oh, right? Full chicken, bring please. Let's let's <laughs> yeah. eat mutton curry. Ah, ane do we'll eat really. butter yeah. chicken or sometimes you have roti with butter. Please put yeah. more butter and let's eat. Why? Because I'm going to the gym. I need to build. So was it a pain separating the eggs when you started when you learned about you know egg whites and they, or you? Ah uh, no, it was okay. I was used to it. I was. Because okay I've come it. with this awesome trick to separate eggs. Yeah, with a bottle, you press it and. No, no, not all that gimmick. No. Put it in your hand. No, no, not all that. You make fried eggs. If okay. you have to eat. Oh six, yeah, yeah, fried. Yeah. You make fried eggs. But well, then cook, just remove it. Out. Then just don't yeah, eat the yolks, bit. man. You just <laughs> see. So them. one second, you basically waste the yolk. Yeah, exactly. That that's the idea behind having. So even if you break it and. That's such a waste. But e- either way, it's a waste. Yeah, it's like you can't eat six whole eggs in a day. Like I can't. I I'm sure I can't. So I eat two whole eggs and four oh, since I started gymming. So, so, so egg whites are four. So what to do with four yolks? So you just cook a fried egg. Like cook six fried eggs together so that you don't have to do all the bottle thing or right, something. Yes. You just cook them and then you just separate the yellows and throw it. You can see that bit. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so yes, I uh, I had a coach at that time. He told me that I eat. Uh, 90 eggs a day. I said what? 90, 90. 90. 90. But he was competing. I See? said 90. And I have seen a friend of mine having 30 eggs right in front of me. Full, in, full eggs. No, 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 no. Egg whites. Egg whites. In front of me in the changing room, he was gulping. And I I've said, seen oh, a person eat 24, and he was 40 something. That guy in front. Wow. And he wasn't even into bodybuilding. He used to play TT. 40 year old dude. He just ate 20 eggs in front of me. 20. Full. Yeah. <laughs> what time? I, What time has it? At one, one shot. At one shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had this uh, refreshment kind of thing. Uh, okay. There was this camp, right? So we used to get all these fruity patty and stuff, eggs and all. So they were seniors, so they could tell the guys that okay, bring yeah, more eggs. You know, yeah, I'll pay yeah. for it. Bring more right. eggs and all. So th- these guys, two guys, ate thirty something eggs together. I'm wow. like, maybe that's good for your health. I don't know. Eggs, so white egg, but I mean, yeah, ninety eggs. And there was there was a point when I used to see this guy eat thirty, forty eggs. I used to wonder how does he do that. And there came a point when I could do that. Huh. So I've been. I could have thirty eggs, but then yes, I divide it. Uh-huh. Now the first five eggs I eat, right? And the rest twenty five or twenty eggs I have to drink them. So what I do raw? is I raw. What I do, I break it down in the shaker. Uh-huh. I put a little bit of milk, probably fifty ml milk, uh-huh. and a little bit of protein for taste. Okay. And then I grind it and I keep my shakers. Did you just remind me of that scene from Rocky Balboa, right? Yeah, so I just have to go and gulp it. It's better. I used to do that. I used to have like three eggs raw and. So uh, have you ever had a raw egg like on yeah, its own? On its yeah, own. Yeah, on its own. I used to do this. At, uh, there's no milk. There's no choice. So when the yolk goes down your esophagus or food pipe, whatever yeah. you call it, right? Mm. It feels like a live animal. It, it, uh, it wiggles. Yeah. Uh, you, you just have to. At that point of time, your mind, <laughs> everything has to shut. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to think about it. The moment yeah. you think about these things, it's out again. Yeah, exactly. You know? so you have to exactly. shut everything it's, and just gulp it down. I think I still okay. think about it once it's gone down. I still remember. Yeah, it, it, it kind of wiggles like it. so. If you've taken a fish out of a bowl, right? I've yeah, done that. Yeah, I've done yeah. so. So it, it's something like that. So it wiggles and it goes <laughs> and it's out. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So thirty, you went to thirty. I went thirty-five. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. How did it go? Okay. How did it go? It was good. I got good results. But yeah, like I said, that you don't have to break it down. You don't just eat it at one go. So yeah. you break it down. You have five or ten in the morning, and then after so during lunch. So can you drinking. offset this? Like, can you counterbalance thirty eggs? You need what more water? Because at the end, it's like a lot of eggs and a lot it's of. It's a lot of eggs. It's a high protein diet. Yeah, exactly. So you really, obviously, you need to have water. A lot of water. Yeah. A lot of water. You have yeah. to have a very balanced diet. You need to, uh, you know, balance everything out. I mean, don't just keep eating protein only. Mm-hmm. Oh, just eggs, eggs, eggs. Yeah. Balance it out. Have a little bit of your greens as well. So you yeah. get your fibers. Then you get your proteins. You yeah. get your carbs also a little bit. Right. You get your good fats. Mm-hmm. So just divide everything properly and have. So during the day I would have like thirty, thirty-five eggs, like five in the morning, then ten. That makes it fifteen. And then after lunch again I have another ten. 
nice. and then dinner again then or in the evening maybe evening snack then. Yeah. And my job is that I'm physically active the whole day from yeah. morning seven to evening, sometimes okay. eight, eight thirty, something. So there's always some activity. So it keeps, you know, busy and plus it You're moving. Moving so, around, yeah. 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 And so initially when I started even having like more than two eggs I would get heat boils. Because exactly, what is not exactly, used to it, it exactly, has a lot of yeah, heat. Yeah. 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 And some people it's just not they're not used to it, so it either the stomach gets upset. Okay, but it affects your kidney as well. It does high protein, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So over a period of time obviously it's gradually growing slowly, slowly, uh, slowly. That's when it has reached 35, 40. I can eat. Right. Yeah. So it's just it's a it's a process step by step. You can't just jump from one year to the Then next. then no. you got introduced to shakes or were you still having No, protein? so at that time I couldn't afford shakes, right. I couldn't afford protein. Even yes. chicken and eggs was if I was lucky enough to save up something right. then I would get. Yeah. So I would never uh, ask my mom to send me extra money right. or anything for my protein shakes or anything. I could I could not afford anything of that sort. Right. It is just uh, I think what 2012. Hmm. That is what uh, now is 19. So seven, seven years, years back. Yeah. That's when I could afford protein. Right. I could buy. And that also there were times when I could even though I was working there were times that I could not afford. Then I would not buy. I'll go without it. Uh-huh. You know. So it would be on and off, on and off, right. on and off. But yeah. So I've gone through phases where I've not had protein. Yeah. And just food, food, food. And I've had phases where now, okay, I... As long as you're eat. hitting the gym, I don't think, you know, if you are that focused, you knew that this is the thing, right? Yes. And you knew that you don't have the resources or the money to buy enough protein yes. for yourself. Yes. You're like, fuck it, right? let's just do it. You you can't stop working out. You right? can't stop. People look yeah. for reason, they say, I don't have this, I don't have... You just work around it. I've yeah. always believed in one thing that if you cannot go from point one to two, hmm. then look for point three, four, and go to two. Work hmm. around it. It's just hmm. like a... Uh, a water flowing. Mm-hmm. There's there are rocks in the middle. The uh, water wants to I'm stuck. Find, I won't do nothing. It. It'll it's find right. its way and yeah. go and, and go. So mm-hmm. that's I mean, I try to do my best that I can work around it. Right. Then if you feel that there there's a point where you're stuck, you ask for help and then yeah. you get a solution. Uh-huh. So yeah. So this was like when, when, so when did you plan to you know enter the tournament? Because tell me something. Yeah. Now everyone's a fitness trainer, right? Uh-huh. Everyone is. Yeah. So I I've 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 played sports for a very long time, huh. I, since I was 2-3 years old. So it's been like almost 25-26 years I've always been active. active, yeah. active. And I've started weight training lately, but right. very recent, not right. that old. Yeah. So I can never stand up and you know uh, tell people that okay, I though I know my body pretty well mm-hmm. by now, I know what is required, right. I know if I have to get bigger. Right. If, even if I think that okay I'm gonna have you know caught like Raj I know it's not possible for me for my body frame unless I give another 10 years to that with pure dedication without any shortcuts like a proper like, way yeah, yeah. that's how I think bodies work if you're not using any foul methods or something yes what was I saying the shit my memory is as bad as yours I know uh, if you have to get a body like you have to wait ten years. Huh, trainers. Everyone's becoming a trainer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So since everyone's a trainer and yeah. you know, good looking bastards out there. And they, yes. they're like good, good you know, they make yes. you be like shit, yes. man. Good physiques <laughs> and good faces, they're like fucking models and good looking. So you're like, oh man, you do dukan khade ka meri. You know, you can't help it, right? Yes, it's competition, right? At yeah. the you know, it's 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 on fire right now. Yes. So my thing is that has it become very important like is it necessary for every trainer to enter the competition just to prove that okay i am you know a cut above the rest right. is it important uh no it's not important i would uh, i mean i'm talking that, uh, i'm saying all this uh, with my own experience yeah. and whatever i have observed and what i would feel is probably the thing going on yeah it's not necessary that every trainer has to compete it's mm. not everybody's cup of tea mm. you understand now i may not be able to do what you're doing right you may not be able to do what I'm doing or you may not, I may not be able to do what other people are doing. Okay. You understand? So, again, competing is not everybody's cup of tea. If that was the case, then I think everybody would be doctors. Everybody would be Ambani. Mm. Everybody would be Punawala or whoever. Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. Bill Gates. Yeah. Warren Buffett. Or Buffett, yeah. whatever. You yeah. know, everybody would be that high. Yeah. But it's, not everybody has that I opportunity. Yeah. I mean, they are all destined to do what they are supposed to mm. do. So, as far as, now coming back to the trainer part, not every trainer can, uh, you know, be a bodybuilder to compete. Some just want to do it for the sake of doing it. Some who are really dedicated and want to make it through, then yes, they can. Uh-huh. So I think it's a personal choice. So when I started, I was always told that, why don't you compete? Why don't you compete? Okay. I said, I don't have the sources. I, and you need guidance to do that. Right. You know, so I said, I, I don't know. I, now I wish I would have started. If I had guidance back then, then uh-huh. probably I would be on a different level now, but it's never too late. Right. So I started competing four years back in 2015. Right. My first competition was in Muscle Mania. Okay, Muscle Mania. So, yeah, so I went on stage for the first time. I had not, I didn't know anything about posing or anything. Right. You know, because I was just working out 
and building my physique for my own passion. Right. I enjoy doing it. I love posing is another game, man. Posing is a different level yeah. on its own. I mean, it's a level on its own in the sense that it's uh, another workout on its own. Mm-hmm. It has an art. Yeah. It's like you do ballet. You yeah, know, I've seen, I've seen Arnold's where he's learning exactly. from that. They have to do that. Yeah, That's exactly. when your movement comes. Right. Yeah. So even when you go on stage, for example, when we bodybuilders go on stage, there's an art even if you have to show your muscles. Mm. You miss out one step here and there or one flex. You just twitch a little muscle there's, here there's and there. There's someone who's doing better than you. It'll yeah. take over. Yeah. You forget showing something or flexing it out a little more. Somebody's always better than you. Yep. So it's again practice. So like any other, any, like any other competition. Like any other competition. Yeah, yeah. Any other. And take any any sport as a matter of fact. Even football. You can yeah. see Cristiano Ronaldo. That the reason why he stands apart is because of his endurance. Agreed. Yeah. The way he plays, mm-hmm. his mind, how he plans everything. Dhoni, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Speak of him. You know, Sachin Tendulkar. All these great players, whoever are there out there. Mm. So I mean, yeah. So but trainers, yes. I mean, yeah. like I said again, I come back so to did it and that, say that. Help you uh, entering a tournament. Like, like uh, in your career, like, did right. people notice more after that? That's what I really want to know. Uh, that okay, this guy has entered. They must have seen your pictures. Like, okay, yeah, yeah they, they do see. Buff. Obviously, see the thing is, I'm a newbie, hmm. right? But so this year, when I went for a competition, like last year when I started again in November, so the season starts last, in November. You did compete last year. Yes, oh, November. Nice. It starts in November. Right. So it went on till uh, March, April. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking muscle mania. No, not Muscle Mania. Muscle Mania was just in 2015. Right. Yeah, so I went for that. Uh-huh. That let people recognize me. That, you know, they should also know me. Uh-huh. That, you know, I came. So I, I've always worked with one thing that I don't care whether I win or lose. Right. But people should know me. Yeah. Then I came. I competed. Yeah. That's it. I mean, yeah. winning, losing doesn't matter. Yeah. So I went there. Then slowly, sorry, I started understanding the game. How you're supposed to compete. What you, so Muscle Mania was a stepping stone. Uh-huh. And then I qualified for uh, Body Power, which right. was held in Mumbai in 2016. Okay. I didn't win, but I did go on stage. And uh, it was a good experience. Nice. And then after that, I've been competing with the IPBF, Indian Bodybuilding Federation. Right, right, right. So I have, I mean, uh, in that association, and I've been competing in the bodybuilding in the, what, 70, 75 kg category? So okay. we have different categories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been going yeah. to 70, 75. Right. So now, slowly, slowly, people are there. I mean, the boys and all, even the judges, they've started knowing me huh. little by little. So they know that Raj is there. Right. He comes, this, that. And, and uh, one thing I was uh, happy about is this year when I competed, so one of the judges, told me to come down and meet him after I was all cleaned up with the tan. Yeah. So I met him and he gave me a few tips. So I was very happy that at least, you know, he did recognize me. Yeah. Even though it was after two, three years or yeah. whatever. Because what happens, obviously, if you keep doing one thing over and over again and yeah. you keep going to one place, people catch you. Yeah. You know, so they under- they do notice you. Yeah, yeah. So yes, I've been trying to do that. And yeah. yeah, they have noticed. It may not be very big, but there's always sure a starting there, point. I'm sure you get there. So yeah. someday. Yeah. 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 So yes, that's how it's been so far. So what's the... Like lifestyle now, like currently, like so. Start with your, you know, morning when you wake up, whether it's an alarm or whatever right. wakes you up. So okay. how, diet everything. How do you take your day forward? Uh, so I start in the morning. I get up and I have my uh, okay, the shower and everything. Then yeah. I have my first meal, which is a fruit. Is there a meditation part or not, or do you ha- are you into that kind of stuff? Uh, no, no, I'm not. But too busy for that. No, not too busy for that. But uh, I guess I wake up by six, six thirty, and then I have my day starts again. You know, I have to run for trainings and stuff. Right. You know, so I start with the fruit and stuff. So my meditation is always like going on. It's cooking. Always, maybe cooking is your meditation. Like yeah, cooking, planning for my next workout yeah. and what's going to be like my day. So if I have to train you, I have a certain body part that I'm going to be targeting you. So I start thinking what to give you today, how to change it. Oh, that's you know? very detailed. So, so, yeah. so you you actually think of okay, I'm going to train this body part of this client yeah. today yes that's every day for you yes oh nice nice so that's i keep changing so the only thing is that the reason why i do that is because i i like going well prepared for my clients right i like going well prepared because i know that okay fine you've come to me obviously yeah. you've come to me for a reason yeah if you're paying me the amount of money you require the service yeah. i will deliver it to you right so i try my best to do whatever i can and i think about it for example you have legs today or you have back and biceps then i try and do something which is different mm. you know and you also enjoy it yeah. i also enjoy it plus you reach your target right. so that that's what my meditation is when about. you say enjoy it okay yeah. this question i've i've noticed this thing lately that people are you know coming up with ways to make workout fun mm. I've, I've it's very prevalent nowadays that's just not possible because at the end of the day, I mean, you have to enjoy the process. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. the process. Yes, they're trying to make workouts fun, like mm-hmm. you know, let's do this instead of that. Okay, agreed, you can do that, one. but that, that's just ephemeral. That's a very short lived. You can't, you can't, you know, actually depend on you know. Yes, it's right. the same at the end of the day. You got to squat, you got to deadlift. Exactly. See, yeah, yeah. right. So, so when you say enjoy, how do you do that? Okay, so uh, I'll tell you. So, like 
I've come across a lot of people tell me that, how do you enjoy doing the same thing over and over again? Mm. So many years you're just doing that. Yeah. I said, no, you make it fun. One, I, for me, it is different because I look at it in that way. Mm. So if I have a plan, not everybody wants to probably go on stage. Mm. Not everybody is an athlete who is competing or playing a different kind of sport. They're just coming here for their fitness level. Yeah. So how I make it enjoying, enjoyable for them is also when they come, uh, there's always something new to tell them, mm -hmm. something new to teach. Something you know? that you've learned. Something that I've learned, mm. uh, something that I still keep learning from different people, yeah. you know, experiences, different trainers. I keep watching people in the gym work out and yeah. stuff. So sometimes I just probably crack a joke in the middle or you know, mm. try and talk to them about stuff. And as far as the workout is concerned, I try and, uh, uh, try and do different methods. Because what happens is when you keep doing the same thing over and over again, yeah. You may un and enjoy the process, but somebody else doesn't. Mm, yeah. So maybe if you're doing a chest press, now you're right. doing one to ten. Okay, you're counting. Now in this only, you can make it enjoyable for them. Tell them you do ten full, yeah. and when you have to do the remaining five, just change it between a ten and just tap and go down. Okay. Give it partials. Okay. So I try and change it, things like that, to make it more interesting for right. them. So it's something new for them. Oh. And then sometimes what I'm doing, if I, if they squat, okay, they're squatting after ten reps, fifteen reps, I tell, okay, leave the bar, let's go. Give me a squat hold. Okay. You know, or sometimes make it more jump. challenging. Right? Make it more challenging yeah. for them, and you know, try and add on a little few things, maybe some functional sometimes, or make them jump, or make them okay, let's go skipping. Right. And Initially, when I sit with them, obviously over a period of time, I do understand like what they like, what they don't like. Mm. Some like skipping, you so you that. put skipping in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And then you tell them, okay, we are skipping, fine. Let's not skip with two legs. Let's try and jump with one leg. Right. So you know, I try and add on a little bit. Improvising. Here Improvising. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, so that's what I do. Okay. So yeah. that's how you make it enjoyable. Yes. Oh, that's nice. So uh, clients, like, do you get like? You know, dickheads as clients sometimes. You know, sometimes clients are Yes, like, so I initially started like that. <laughs> Tell I me about get, Even now, I guess. Okay. You know, they come, they talk big. I want this, I want that, I want... And sometimes you just get carried away. Yeah. Because I, I want to train clients because it's my passion. I love to teach. Yeah. So, I do take them. Then later on, I realize that it's not, you know, worth it putting so much effort on this male or female. So, you just whatever. let them flow. So, then right? I let them flow. Once <laughs> it is done and all, then... Okay, but now... Yeah. So, now what I, I do is when I sit with them, I do one. I tell them. That if you're coming to me, come with one track mind in the sense that you are going to work your ass off. Because I've you know. entered the gym and I, you know, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of working out. Huh. I do that regularly. Yes. But I'm not a big fan. Why? Because I know I'm hurting myself. Like, you know, it's like killing myself. I don't enjoy it. That's the thing. Huh. But I know it's very important for yes. me. Yes. It's important for me. So I just give one hour and right. I just go yeah, that's all fine. in. That's fine. That's fine. I go all in. Yes. I, I go all in. I enjoy the results. Whatever right. my body looks like. Yes. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. So worth it. Huh. Right. But I've seen people when they enter gym. I'm sure you must have personally felt that or you must have experienced, you know, this uh, kind of, I say, look, both in the gym. Mein. So they, they just don't stop talking. They no, come, no, they, they, they come, no, I'm, there are, you'll always find this person, a woman, a man, a boy or a girl who enters, has a personal trainer and is always constantly talking to the trainer, yes. not exercising. They have your, I, I, I have here. like, what are so you they doing? they have muscles here. <laughs> they do all the fat here and everywhere else is all gone. Everywhere else is all gone. Yeah. So I watch. I, so these, these are the things I keep watching. Yeah. So then I watch. I'm not trying to criticize any trainer. Right. Right? I'm not saying I'm the best or this or that. No, yeah. no. Even I make mistakes. Yeah. Even I do enjoy talking to my clients. There's right. always lots to learn from them. Yeah, but when they have come to. for a purpose, finish that. And then you talk. Yeah. Who's asking you? Don't talk. Talk. But when you've come to the gym, right. then when you went, then what happens? I'll tell you. When yeah. the clients don't get results, right? Hey, trainer is bad. Mm. He's an asshole. He doesn't know shit. Yeah. But you yourself, you're talking, <laughs> and then the trainer is also talking with you. So both are at fault. You can't clap with one hand. No, you do both hands. Too. Yeah. So this is what happens. Yeah. You know? So so yeah. That, that's your thing. So early morning you cook, and yeah. how, how does it? And then after out? that, I run for my trainings. Right. And then in between, I try and squeeze uh, some time to have my meal. Right. When do you work out? Like I work out around 11, 30, 12. Yeah, that's yeah. where I have seen you in the gym. Yeah, so I work out at that time, one, one and a half hour. That, that's your everyday thing, so 11, one, yes, daytime, 11, you yes, prefer daytime. Yeah, I prefer the daytime, but that's when I'm free. Then in the evenings, again, I get busy with trainings. Right. You know, so once I'm done with my workout and stuff, then I go yeah. home, I have my lunch. Right. I rest for a bit, and then I get up. You enjoy cooking? I was... Or it's just no, 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 I was, necessity, uh, so... You no, I, I will go back to it. I right. have been a very bad person in the kitchen. I would only go in the kitchen to eat. Right. If you tell me to cut something, I wouldn't. Yeah. But since I have been here, yeah. I don't have a maid here. Yeah. Like she comes and cleans the house and stuff, yes. But it's not like back home in Kenya. Yeah. We have the servants, they'll cook for you. Yeah. Mommy's there, she make this. Mommy's yeah. there, all right. <laughs> what do you want to do? Okay, make this, you know, that's fine. Here, there's no mommy, no papa. Yeah. You have to do it yourself. Yeah, true. So I think another thing that bodybuilding has taught me or being in the fitness for everybody, I'll not only specify bodybuilding mm. because then people think, oh, only bodybuilders only do this. You know? So for me, bodybuilding, because that's what mm. I do, 
but this is a general term for fitness people. The moment you are fit, you get into that lifestyle, you enjoy cooking. Mm. You know, I've you experienced enjoy it first time. Yes. So to you cook. I enjoy cooking, not very high fancy meals, mm. but something very simple. As long as you're not cooking for Instagram, you're cooking for yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but it's, uh, I mean, yeah, obviously, if you keep doing it for Instagram, you will never get yeah, the physique yeah, that you yeah, want. Yeah, you know? yeah. Instagram will grow. You will keep <laughs> gains, or gains you, on you, Yeah, it will gain and you are losing. <laughs> yeah. You know, so stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So I do enjoy cooking now. Hmm. I have, uh, I mean, in the last coming previous years, I've also observed myself that I have enjoyed cooking programs. But I was somebody who never wanted to cook. Yeah. Never wanted to enter the kitchen. Mm. But yeah, I enjoy watching. I love watching people cook. I fancy doing. Sometimes I even think about it. I wish I could do this. Mm. And I've even collected a lot of recipes. The only problem is doing it. Yeah. Because you don't have a lot of. Uh, I mean, being staying alone as a guy, I don't have a lot of uh, utensils like that. Right. Yeah. I wish I yeah, yeah. You know. Just if, for that particular dish, you can't end up buying. Yeah. Exactly. All, and right. I mean, I would not even mind doing that. But then, if you have somebody with you, mm. you enjoy doing it more. Okay. So if I know that, okay, probably we are staying together. Yeah. You know. And uh, Cholo, today I'll make this for you. I would mm. enjoy doing it. Mm. Or someday you say, Cholo, let's do this together. Okay, I'm cutting. You know, it, yeah. it becomes like a teamwork. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I prefer to do. So if I have somebody with me, then I obviously enjoy doing it even more. I've noticed uh, when it comes to fitness, right? Gymming and the lifestyle, you know, behind yeah. this, yeah. Li- the lifestyle behind fitness. I've always noticed that a casual person can never be a partner. Uh, you know, if you're because I've tried working out, and you know, let, let's okay, let's do this. As long as your partner is not, uh, if not better, like at par, right? So you you somehow you know that okay, f- the same thing that happened to you, right? So you need someone who's as passionate as you are. Yes, as or he's you a can be more of, above you. A little more. Yeah, so yeah. let's say, let's say someone sucks at bodybuilding. So your partner should be equally shitty as you are, so yes. so that you enjoy your yeah. shitty routine, exactly. right? So you have to be at you know, yes. you can't have one serious person in one guy. It never no, works. It, it never it, works. It never works. It never because that person will be doing on his own. Yeah. You will want to do something different. He or she wants to do something different. So try and either two things that work for me is that if I have a partner, good. Yeah. If I don't have a partner, Better. still good. <laughs> yeah. You make sure that you are still doing that 200% that you would do. Mm. Yeah, if you have a very good partner, try and make it 300. But then when he or she is not there, yeah. then make it 400 for you to reach 200. Right. You know, so I've ex- because of those previous years, I've experienced it. And I used to end up going to the gym alternate days because yeah. what happened was that when I had the phone, I used to message my friend, bro, are we going to the gym? Who tell me no. Uh, so then I would think, oh, fuck it. Then I would go alternate days. Yeah. So one week passed like that. Uh, then the following week when I went to the gym, so my coach told me, Raj, welcome. You should have told me I would have put a red carpet for you. Why? What happened? He said, you've been coming alternate days now. Why don't you do that, right? You build your physique in alternate days. Come, no. come, no. Why are you worried? Come, aram se. Wo nahi aaya, tu bhi nahi aata. Very nice. That struck my head. Coach then I said, forget it. Man. Let it be. Yeah. He wants to come, let him. So then I stopped messaging him and asking him, are you coming? Because then again, it attacks your mind. Yeah. You know, so I said, forget it. He wants to come. He knows the route. He can come. Mm. If he doesn't want to come, let him screw around. But that's him. Yeah. I have something that I need to do. I will do it. So I'll continue like that. Yeah. So it's been... So working out in 11, at 11 in the morning. 11, 30, 12. Right. Hour. Yeah, and that's then when it's I get your free. coaching. Then after. Yeah, then after that I go home, have my lunch, I rest. And then I come back in the evening again when I have to train. Would you suggest freelancing uh, to other fitness training enthusiasts? Uh, see, what happens, I'll tell you two things. One, when you work in a gym, mm. there is a lot to learn, obviously, because you tend to, you obviously get, uh, um, you do get good clients, even when you're doing freelancing. But initially, when you have to start off with, it's like you work for somebody first. Yep. You know, slowly, slowly, once you get the experience, right. once you get to know how to deal with things, mm. then you can do freelance. All right. You know, it's like you would not want to just come out of college and start your own business. You don't even know what to do. Exactly. Yeah. You understand? When yeah. you work for your, pro- even if you have your own family business, mm. fine, you have your own family business, work for your dad or work for the business. Your father you won't know. let you take the higher thing as long as you haven't worked. We exactly. have an example <laughs> with us. No. Uh, so... I mean, it, it's, it's simple as that, right? Yeah. I mean, you work somewhere first, so you understand the culture. Right. You understand the culture, you should know your own responsibility. If you are not responsi- responsible enough to do it at your workplace, how are you going to do it on your own? Mm. If you can't do something at home, yeah. how would you do it outside? Yeah. If you're going to eat at home only with hen, you'll go outside and also you will eat it with your hands, your food. So you learn from home. So do it in the gym, work out in the gym, work at the gym, <laughs> understand the culture, understand the people, get some responsibilities. Right. Once you are done with that, then if you feel that, okay, if you're getting a very good opportunity to be in that gym and grow, mm. fair enough, do it. Mm. I have come from something that I say that I do not want to work for somebody for too long. Mm. I want to work for me. 
Because then, obviously, then whatever you earn, you get it for yourself. Hmm. You fall, you get hurt. You grow, you grow. Right. Could have places where probably things pull you down. Hmm. Not everybody is as nice. They yeah. are going to say you're growing. Push. It doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of 10 million, you'll find one person who will ever we'll tell you, come, you. I will help you go up. Yeah. yeah. You sure. the, the 9 million, you'll have, they're all pulling you, <laughs> yeah. you know, from nature. Yeah, yeah. I, this I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, I mean, I would, yes, definitely after a later period of time, when you feel that, yes, you have enough clients, mm-hmm. you know that money is rolling in because mm-hmm. everything is getting very expensive mm-hmm. at this point of time. Being in a gym, working at one place, you know that money is flowing. Mm-hmm. So, you don't have to worry. Right. We, Freelancing, the only challenge is that you have to be on your toes all the time. You might run out of clients or... Sometimes yeah. when, a, when one client goes, your entire budget shakes. Yep. So keeping it all the time, you know, consistent, yeah. you know, it's very difficult to do that. At yeah. times, we all have those ups and downs. Right. You know, any kind of business does, you know. So it always has, have, have, has those ups and downs. But you just have to manage your budget well, I guess. Yeah. And then you go. So. Mm. And and how, how what's your sleep cycle like like every single day since you it's better that you work out in the morning it's eleven right yeah. eleven twelve so you between eleven and eleven twelve yeah, yeah. that's every day every so, day because yeah. I know a few trainers like good trainers work out rat ko so maybe it's yes. easier for them to sleep uh, immediately like having meals and go crash or something yes, I guess but so. if I work out at night right right I'm kind of pumped and I can't sleep yeah you, know, you don't tend, yeah you don't get to sleep because yeah. when you work out so what uh, some tend to sleep actually they right. get good sleep yeah so if you work out in the evenings and stuff by the time you go home you've had your food and you're right. so, oh yes i mean it depends it, there is no specific time for anybody wherever you enjoy working out yeah whatever time rather some people work, prefer working out in the mornings yeah some people in the afternoons some people working out in the evenings or some at night uh-huh. and some people are very finicky to work out at a certain time because it's a lot of crowd right if you ask me personally I prefer working out when there is nobody in the gym. That makes no sense. No AC, nothing. Yeah. Even if light is not, I don't care. Yeah. Just give me the weights and I will pump. Dude, you won't believe uh, this is like a, a gym that I wouldn't name, but a good gym that doesn't have a backup. I know by now you sure you know what gym I'm talking okay, about. Yes, yeah, yes, there's only yes. one who yeah. <laughs> that, that doesn't have a backup, right? So the pa- uh, power went right. There was no power, and uh, AC stopped, and there was this girl, right? A friend, like she's pretty cool, but mm-hmm. then. She started complaining that she's sweating okay. in the gym. Oh, wow. Nice. Because she's like, I'm sweating. I'm like, dude, you're in the yeah, gym. Yeah, you're working out. You're working out. You're working yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And she was losing it. She was losing it. So, yeah. I mean, I, so it's, it's, it's weird what people, you know, think when they come to the gym or what do they have in their heads. Like, you so know. This, this, these are the kind of people I don't, again, I don't mean to criticize anybody or, you know, whoever is coming to work out with all dedication. Very good. Yeah, I, you definitely know? you shouldn't criticize. But yeah. just don't fucking put a post and put <laughs> exactly. inspiring, yes. mo- motivating don't put that captions. <laughs> people who actually want to work out, they will not care what shoes you're wearing, what yeah. Nike you come, you put on your gear. You come work out regardless there is light, no light, mm. it doesn't matter. Yep. Whether you study under a tree or whether you study in Oxford or Harvard, it doesn't yeah. matter. You want to study, you will study, it doesn't matter. Yeah. In Africa, when I go, I'll take you a little bit back in time. In Africa, not everybody is privileged to hit the gym. I'm sure. I myself started in my backyard. Right. I would take the, the empty paint cans. Uh-huh. I would tell my servant, please put cement in it. Right. Take those... Uh, roads, yeah. the metal roads and make for me dumbbells. So I had made like a set. Right. I couldn't afford to go to the gym. Yeah. So we are used to doing it. Huh. So when you adopt according to the environment, yeah. when you respect the situation, mm. when you respect the weights, you respect everything that you're coming for, that thing, particular thing will take you. It's nice. simple with whatever profession you do. You respect your computer, it will get you work. Hmm. You throw things around, sorry, yeah. you can't. Whether it's a living thing, non-living thing, it's not. It's a non-living thing. Mm. It, it doesn't breathe or anything. Yeah. But it is getting you your job. Yeah. It is getting you the money. It is getting you the clients. Mm. And even if you are not a professional fitness trainer or uh, you know a, a bodybuilder or whatever, do respect the fact that whatever that is, it's still helping your health. Mm. If you are not going to respect the gym when you come and you keep complaining about the AC, you come for the AC. Yeah. Try and put the AC in your home and yeah. leave it on the whole day. You will, it'll pinch your ass. Yeah. Why? Because you're paying the bill. Exactly. Now the gym is paying the bill. Mm. So you don't have to worry. <laughs> you know? So yeah. these are a few things that I keep observing and sometimes yes, it does irritate me when mm. people come to the gym and say, hey, turn on the AC, I'm feeling cold. Why? Mm. You come here for the AC or do you come here to work out? Yeah. They so come by, work out and go. Yes. Yeah, and leave. Yes. <laughs> and leave, yeah. Okay, you do need the AC because of ventilation, I understand. Mm. You know, but don't complain if it's not there. Yeah, exactly. Let it be. Exactly. You know, let it be. Yeah. Just come, work out. And that's how I've noticed people. Uh, so that, that's where you, you know, differentiate people who've entered competition, who've been into, you know, any kind of competition, sports or bodybuilding or whatever. Yeah. So they've dealt with situations. They have an upper hand over 
you know uh, things that aren't expected you know th- certain things happen which you haven't expected yeah. and th- when shit goes down right yes, yes, so yes. they've experienced that yes. so that gives them an upper uh, upper hand yeah. an edge yeah. an yes. edge right so they know okay fuck it no ac i can't breathe properly right. it's not that i'm dying it's exactly. not that i'm you know just falling or collapsing yes. right yeah. I-, i can still lift weight exactly fucking shut i mean up. if you see okay this ac and stuff i start coming up with the gyms now now yeah. what about the gyms that were already there in exactly. many years back they right. used to go and work out they, they, they stink man they, they stink, stink? Mm-hmm. sweat look at the flooring it's yeah. up and down <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where the dumbbell is going yeah. you know you try and take the dumbbell the place also moving out yeah, yeah, yeah. but those are the same dumbbells that have helped you right so the moment you respect that boom yep. you will start shooting up you will do very well i mean i've experienced this is what i personally feel a simple thing that there was a time when i was working out in korega park gym mm. uh, i must have rolled the bar or kicked the dumbbell with my foot yeah my coach told me the next time you do that see what i do to you after that anyone touches the dumbbell or rolls with it i said please don't do that for me it is my bread and butter right not money wise right for my health right so please don't kick the dumbbell or don't use your feet okay. lift it up if you have to right use your hands bend down right you can bend down now bend down otherwise there will come times in life when you will actually have to bend down yeah. so bend down now do it properly yeah do it properly don't disrespect because the moment you respect your weights your results you will see mm. simple throwing plates in anger these things which i really don't approve of why maybe because i am uh, probably trained that way i've come up with uh, my coaches my teachers i've been very fortunate to have very good teachers who and who actually trained me yeah you know i've never taken a personal training but i have got personal training mm. i've never paid a penny right. but i have been fortunate mm. enough till date to have very good trainers who have helped me grow they pushed me work out this way do this do that so i've developed i mean over a period of time i've you know mm. grown like that but yes i mean when it comes to this small small disciplines yeah. i'll probably call it old school discipline yeah. you know that if you do it like this they will come and hit you <laughs> you know maybe a bro they don't know that but here when you do anything by mistake you see they'll go always come and touch yeah. and say yeah, i'm sorry excuse me yeah, yeah. you do these things no? you wait you see yourself the moment you respect what you do it always take you is in, in any kind of a job any kind mm. of a job whether it's a desk job whether it's you're going delivering newspapers or whether you are cleaning the house or whatever you take it as your stuff and you keep your house clean like you would do it to your own house you're good to go man you'll always see your work will help you progress nice that you makes know? all the sense in the so, world man yeah, yeah. back to your sleep cycle how yes. much do you sleep in a day 24 hours since you working okay, long hours okay so i once i go home after my workout and stuff i try and at least get half an hour 45 minutes sleep mm-hmm. and then i wake yeah, up uh, in the evening or in what? the afternoon in the afternoon, in the afternoon. Oh, okay. so i go and have like half an hour at least half an hour i need that nap after you after your lunch after my workout okay yeah so what i do is once i go home i take rest mm-hmm. and then i get up and have my lunch because then again in the evening i have to leave uh uh-huh. So if I have my lunch then if I sleep wake up so and go So after your workout you just pop your pop your protein, protein shake, protein shake. I go home you good for another 30 40 minutes change and everything yeah I'm good yeah. for another 40 minutes 1 hour right then after that I get up make my meal whatever uh-huh. the fish chicken whatever I have to make right. roti have that get ready boom out of the house again right if any client cancels if I have to probably go late or maybe that all the clients have cancelled mm. then I chill at home probably look watch some youtube videos yep. or something enjoy right. listen to music or watch some tv movie or something right i just relax because there are days when i don't get to do that i'm, I'm, g- I'm going to get uh, to your sundays i really yes. want to know how the sundays are yes. like and uh, after that then at night i try and sleep early uh-huh. my hands are always being 12 right you know because by the time i go that's, home that's your upper end right yes i try and you know try and squeeze what what happens after my trainings at night when i go home i want to do is relax yeah. but then it's always at the back of the head you have to make your food you have to make your food Like, like your dinner or yeah dinner oh, yeah. okay okay so then i have to make my meal again yeah that's a pain yeah so i have right. to make my meal <laughs> yeah. and then i have to prepare my bag for the next day right. my clothes for the next so when i get up in the morning have shower take your bag wear your clothes yeah, just take leave. your bag in yeah. Yeah. okay that time i cannot start looking for stuff exactly. yeah. so i do that and i try and at least catch 6 hours of sleep six hours. and plus the half an hour one hour if i get it to leave after home right, so right. yeah 6 7 hours so you're pulling 7 hours a day like i try to try to try, try my best but 6 definitely but if, if, if like if, uh, let's say uh, you know for for some reason hmm. uh, uh, consecutively for 6 or 7 days you're just pulling 4 or 5 it happens sometimes sir. it is like this week has been happening yeah. I've, every time i've gone home i've not been i have not had the privilege of probably even getting that half an hour It's always something or the other that's going either I reach home late right or now that because I'm planning to move out so, so that's true in your performance ah uh, it does somewhat hamper it hmm. but then I try when I go home so nowadays uh, if I've not rested in the afternoon so when I go home yep. in the evenings at night I have my dinner early yeah. and I wind up everything and I try and go to sleep still it reaches 11:30 right and, and, and so. Sundays and how rest okay, Sundays yeah full rest so no freelance and no gym 
No work on Sundays. No I work. prefer not to work on Sundays. N- not even work out. Not even work out. Yeah, One day, right. six days a week I work out. Yeah. I clean my ass off in working out six days a week. Right. Sunday I get up late, I have my breakfast, I watch TV, I have a shower also late. I prefer being home because I don't see home the whole day until night. Right. And that's also just for a few hours. Mm. So Sundays I prefer being home, watching TV, yeah. you know, probably Netflix, you uh-huh. know, that's going on. Yeah. And uh, movies, listening to music probably, or just catching up on some YouTube videos. And, and, and and is, you, is your uh, diet on point on Sunday or do you... Sundays, cheat? I try and keep it as much as I can, but the breakfast goes a little off, yeah. you know, because it's the only day I'm home. Right. So breakfast, then I end up having chai and bread. It, it, it's, you, I would call that a staple, staple food of Kenya. Oh, uh, ugali, right? They ugali, is, ugali is, yes, they yeah. have that. Ugali, is, Ma- it's made out of maize flour. Yeah, 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 yeah. That they have it during uh, lunch or dinner. Okay. So it's it's basically like a pancake. I know, I know. If you have a little bit, they boil it, right? Yes, they, boil it. they, they yeah. stir it with water yeah, right, and flour. Right, right. You know, right. so, so the water dries and it gets yes, cooked. Yes, it right? gets cooked. Yeah. So when you have even just a little bit, yeah. you are full the whole day. Yeah, it's like yeah. shitload of carbs, right? Yes. Yeah. So it's more like carb loading. starch and carbs. Yeah. So I have I. I mean, in Kenya, since we've been born and brought up there, yeah. we have a lot of. In the morning, the staple food would be breakfast, would be chai and bread, okay. tea and bread. Right. So I have that, and then I have my lunch. I try and keep my lunch to the point as much as I can. Okay. You know, so if competition is closing by, then I have to stick. To then it. you have to. Then I have to. So maybe the meal that would only probably go off is just the breakfast. Uh-huh. But otherwise, the rest of the meals would be on point. And and uh, what's your thing <coughs> with desserts? And uh, do you, do you <coughs> indulge? Oh yeah, I love chocolate cakes. Oh, nice. We are talking like proper sugar, like not, yeah, yeah, not, I, I not all the sugar free stuff. Yeah. No, no sugar free. I love chocolate cake and I yeah. love chocolate ice cream. And that's like once a week or? For now, I have not been having, I'm trying to control when it. You're not, uh, when your tournament is in there. Ah, okay. Just, okay. Then if I'm on a, uh, what do you call it? I'm on a break or on off from, uh, you know, a diet and stuff. Yeah. I don't indulge in too much sugar as such. Right. I try and keep it off because, you know, once you start, what happens is that when we have, when I have to gain, right? right? When I have the gaining phase that is coming, it becomes dirty gaining. Then a lot of I tend to put a, fat. a lot of fat, yeah. yeah. And then burning that fat again for me yeah, from certain true. areas, it's a problem. Yeah. So why go in that direction? Eat. I'm, I'm, nobody's saying don't eat. Mm. Maybe have one piece once in two weeks or something. Yeah. Maybe once a week. Yeah. Try and keep it at. I mean, don't do too much of everything. Yep. You know, so enjoy the meal. So when you get it at once a week, then you know, okay, chalo, I, I'll enjoy it. So you uh, value it more. Exactly. You know. Yeah. So yeah. I try and keep it like that. For now, I have been off. You know, it's been, I think, what, a month, a month and a half that I've not been having? A month, approximately. I've okay. not been having ice cream or stuff like that. Okay. Right. You know, but yeah, again, like, coming back to saying that if I'm not competing and it's, I mean, the season's over and I'm on a break mm. and stuff, I still try and keep not indulging too much. Right? Yes. If there's much cake you give me, I can finish the whole thing over. Two kg cake chocolate, <laughs> I can finish. Sit and just finish it. You know? Love it, man. Ice cream also, the whole box, if you keep it in front of me, chocolate ice cream especially, oh, bring, I'll finish it. Right. You know, there's no stopping to it. Uh. But... Yes, I try and not go too much on the sugar part because oh. one, obviously, there has been a history of uh, diabetes in my family. Yeah. My dad used okay. to have diabetes, right. so that keeps you know eating, yeah, stretching. Yeah, that, that, what that's if, the worst thing. That's exactly, the worst. Yes. I, they still don't know whether this is the particular thing that it, triggers. Yeah, yeah exactly. It so, plays with your insulin exactly. so in the worst be, possible. Yeah, way. it may not even be that you eat too much sugar to get it. It could yeah. be something. Else. So why take the chance? Yeah. Try and do whatever you can. Yeah. At the end of the day, I've always. Said and thought, I've even told people that see, if something's supposed to happen, mm. it will happen. Did you ever get into, uh, I wouldn't even call them fad diets, but any kind of diet? Uh, no. no, never, never, he, uh, never felt the need. No, I've never felt the need, right? Yeah, like crash diets and stuff like this. Because I've always looked at some, if I want to do something, then right. look at it long term, yeah, not short term. Right. I even tell people that don't look at it short term, uh-huh. look at it long term. So never got into intermittent fasting, never got into, I can't even do intermittent fasting because you I need to eat at least five, six meals a day. Oh yeah, that and makes sense. So if you have 16 and 8. Yeah, 16 and 8. Either yeah. 16 and 8. Nahi ho paega. Disappear with whatever I have got. <laughs> shrink, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that hits my head. Uh, and I, I think that will be counterproductive because if you have to gain and you're still on intermittent fasting, you'll have to eat a lot in... In 8 hours, how much can you eat a lot? Yeah, exactly. It has to digest also. Yeah. And then you eat, 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 you spoil your stomach, the next thing you see, you're going and pooping everything. Out. Yeah, so exactly. You eat and it goes out. Yeah. So yeah, intermittent fasting and stuff like this is good for people who are obese, I guess. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. it is good for them. Yeah. But then it, you can't uh, uh, take it as a lifestyle meal. I mean, lifestyle... Vegans, diet. bro, how are they managing, man? I don't know. They're I don't heavy. know, man. They're, they're do heavy, it. heavy. Yeah, they are doing it. They're, doing they're heavy it. on supplements, I'm sure. I guess I, I cannot... Uh, Pinpoint or personally comment on it. Have you ever had a vegan client? Ever? Uh, no, I've never had a vegan no. client. I've never had a vegan client. 
I think you should once, like at least just for. Oh yeah, actually, head. I did once. I did once. Yeah. But then uh, I, she was following a diet. She did say I'm a vegan herself, so she had a lot of salad and stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know. So but as long as her goal goals going to get bigger and muscular. She had to cut. Okay, but for, for that, I think it works. Yeah, I think yes. But then, yeah. you know, to get gain muscle and stuff, it's it's a little difficult. But people I do need it. animals, bro. Yeah. I need We all do. Yeah. You know? but I yeah know. There are people who actually are... Big, you, we have uh, bodybuilders who actually are vegetarians. Yeah. Vegetarians is still yeah. fine. Yeah. But I mean, then they can have vegans is a different... They can't even have protein, whey protein, right? Vegans can't even have whey protein. No, they yeah. have the pea protein and... Pea protein, yeah. Things are there, but... I know. Know. And if there are those kind of people who are actually doing it, yeah. I respect them to how they do it. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, whatever it may be, mm. whether you are vegan, whether you are, uh, you know, you're non, you're non-vegetarian or whatever it is, the efforts that you put behind, that is what should be seen. As long as you're getting what you want. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's the efforts that should be seen. Oh, he's a vegan. No, don't do that. Respect that person. He is working his ass off. Okay. Whatever he's taking, not taking, we don't know. But yeah, whatever it is, just respect that person. He's doing it. Or she's doing it. You try and do it. Yep. You know, instead of pointing at somebody, hey, what is he doing? You do it first and then see. So the take is, whatever you're doing, it should be like, you're, you shouldn't be, your target shouldn't be a short term or... No, yeah, always try be, and keep it long term. Yeah. You try and keep it long term. Do that. It'll, it'll take you on for long. You want to see yourself live mm. for a long time. You don't mm. want to see yourself live for two years and then say, now whatever. Yeah. I'm done. I've got all these things coming inside yeah. me. Or and me. alcohol and tobacco, is that your thing? I don't drink. I don't smoke. Uh-huh. I don't chew tobacco or anything. Yeah. So... That's good. I mean, That's good. I prefer not doing it. I mean, even... Con- uh, you know, telling people not to do it, mm. you know, okay, those who drink, those who smoke, smoking again would be advised not, you might as well drink, yeah. uh, not that I would anyways promote drinking or right. smoking, but uh, if you really want to drink, try and keep maybe one pack. <laughs> what are you done, saying? You know, <laughs> I have people, if you say that, it, there'll be a riot, they'll be like, fuck off. Yeah, they'll yeah. Like, oh, we need to drink, <laughs> yeah. you know, and this and that. Is this, so, this is weird, you know, we live in such times that especially when people are working in corporate fields or wherever when people are working six yes. days yes. I, I never complain that okay you just are giving yourself one day or something it's that's the only way if everyone starts thinking like okay I'm a creative person which mm-hmm. you aren't so everyone cannot live that exactly. artist kind yeah. of life yeah, yeah, right you yeah. have to slog your fucking ass yes. every single day yes. to survive yeah. and yes. to feed your family right, right. right. you have to I never complain for this 9 to 5 thing ever right. I know there are people who have that mindset that okay I cannot I'll, I'll lose my shit I'll get depressed if I do that right yeah, yeah. for them it's alright I may be one of them but I never say that okay 9 to 5 shit hai, ya ye hai, wo hai. I don't think it is it's like a perfect way but I've also noticed that people who are working and like uh, doing these jobs like for six days they end up drinking a lot like m- more than people who are yes, like yes. you know they, they drink every day they, they, they need to have a beer every yeah. single day which yeah. I think is not very healthy not it's not it's See, not they say that it's good to drink beer I will make something this very short and simple mm. whatever you do don't go overboard mm. you think one beer is good have a beer enjoy it don't just gulp up. you look at the people now the youngsters now yeah. you know you look at them, they'll go out drinking. Yeah. You go out on Friday, Saturdays. I was one of them. I know what you're talking about. The yeah. moment you go to the club, oh, rock on, rock on, you know, you go <laughs> book one down. The next thing you see, you vomited every day. <laughs> Technically, you pay them for free. You're just paying the bars, you know, you're paying for the drinks, and that drink has just been flown out of you. <laughs> Why do that? Enjoy the drink. That's, I'm not saying don't drink. That's a good way of looking yeah. at it. Yeah. I'm not saying don't drink. Yeah. Drink, enjoy. You are mm. paying four, five hundred rupees a pack. Right. You're enjoying your blue label. Yeah. You know, I don't drink, but I do understand that. When you're drinking a blue label, man, the whiskey, when you put two cubes of ice, you have your pack there, put water, enjoy the drink, take it sip by sip like you're never going to see tomorrow. Yeah. Enjoy that and have a good conversation. You go drink like a mad fucking pig. <laughs> Next thing you see, the shirt is out, the girls' tops are dropping off, I've the skirts are yeah, all yeah. dirty. Why, man? Why do that? Yeah. Why do that? Drink, I'm not even saying don't drink. But the day you drink, don't think that, oh, let me drink pure hafte ka, I'll start having crate and mm. crates. All fucking boxes go inside. No, don't do that. Take it easy, man. You know, easy, enjoy it. Once you enjoy the drink, I have all my friends drink. Mm. In my family, my dad used to drink, my uncle used to drink. My uncle doesn't drink anymore. Right. Half my family drinks from yeah. my dad's side. Uh. The aunties and uncles and yeah. the kids. And when they ask see me not drinking, they say, how can you not drink when you've lived in Kenya? I said, you don't have to drink if you've lived in Kenya. I'm not your. Yeah. You'll drink. Drink, enjoy mm. it. I enjoy not drinking. Mm. As much as you don't eat, I can eat. Yeah. Sorry, as, and as much as you'll drink, I can eat. Put that. <laughs> so Kenyans have a big appetite, right? We are 
I mean, I'm not an African, but yeah. yes, they have very good appetite. They can eat. Yeah. Can you eat? No, I said, let's keep it at bay. Yeah. You enjoy your brain, bro. Yeah. I will enjoy mine like this. I enjoy, I love listening to people, how they conversate, how mm. they do. And then at the end of the day, when they drink too much, and when things fly, you know, these rockets, <laughs> they keep going. So I'm there, I'm the only sober one, and I'm enjoying that. Yeah. So I, I enjoy that part. It becomes a comedy scene for me. Like yeah. So yeah, that's what it is. And you know? carbs, tell me about carbs. What's the whole thing with the, you know? Because I, I I want them. I need them. I don't even go like okay. I need to reduce them or something mm. like that. I want them. But then I, I'm not a bodybuilder. Bodybuilder. You don't have to be. Uh, this why in the first place only I said I would when I before I mentioned my meals and my yeah. day routine. Yeah. I said it, this is not only for bodybuilders, but even as a fitness enthusiast, you know, just follow a simple cycle. Right. In the sense, cycle in the sense, a pattern. Hmm. You know, routine to make right. it very simple. Right. So you don't have to. See, whatever you eat, regardless of being in the fitness field, you want to eat, eat everything in a measure. You poured coffee in you, this mug. You, you scale? Do you scale for your food? Like, do you yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Right. So, for example, you want to have coffee. Yeah. You're going to fill, how much of coffee are you going to fill in that mug of yours? It's just one cup and one teaspoon. One Would teaspoon. you keep pouring? No, no. What will happen? Well, you spill out. Exactly. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> You're going to just have what is required in that? Right. Simple. So you do that with That's food. That's the thing with body. Yeah. Nice. Uh-huh. Have what you can. Now, if I can eat two chickens, I tell you, eat two chickens. Will you be able to eat? Oh, fuck no. Exactly. You might eat three, four pieces and say, I'm done. Yeah. No, but eat. Yeah. Because I can eat, you also eat. Yeah. And stuff that in your mouth. Put it down. Put a pipe and swallow. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But eat. You won't happen, right? Same, same as with carbs? Same with any any food that you do. Anything. Yeah. You want to have a burger? Have a burger. I've always told people, eat. I'm not saying don't eat. Yes. Yeah. If you're competing, that's a different thing. Yeah. It's wrong that we also don't eat during our cheat day. Yeah. We eat pizza and stuff, ice cream, cakes, and this and that. We yeah. do indulge. But then eat what? Limit yourself. You know, don't go overboard. Man. Yeah. If you can't do something, don't go overboard. Right. Now imagine if you keep drinking water too much. You'll drink, 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 drink. Then once your bladder fills up, then what? Everything flows up. So if, if someone's listening who's just entered this, you know, guys and girls nowadays are very much into this. Yeah. They won't, they you won't know, show each other. Uh, no? Yeah, yeah. I had the bags. Right, right, right. Which is absolutely fine because, you know, they, they want to. So the thing is that what will you... So let's just, let's just you know, mark one short, quick workout routine and diet routine if you have to give in yes. just five simple sentences. Right. I'm just saying, I'm just right. saying. So what should they do when they are hitting the gym and when they are going back? Like a simple routine. Like okay, so home. I mean, if it's a beginner. Yeah. Uh, who's just You're talking about beginners. Beginners, okay. Yeah, so talking. somebody who's gone to the gym, probably one, they should, uh, the first step is to consult a trainer. Right. Always? Yeah, it's better. Oh, okay. You know, it's like going to school and then... You don't know what to do. What will you do? You go to the teacher. Right. Please show me how to do this. Right. You won't just go and say, I know everything, man. Okay, chalo. Math, one plus one is three. No, you go to the teacher. Please explain this to me. Hmm. The teacher teaches you. So you sit down with the teacher or the headmaster. Initially, the first day, the parents need to understand. Hmm. In this case, the person who's going to the gym needs to understand that I'm coming to the gym for my own health. Yeah. This is the teacher who can. That's why we are trainers and right. you are not. You know, now I cannot come and teach you your yes. work, right? How will I teach you yeah. your work? I'll come to you, Obi-Mani, you please show me how to do this. Yeah. If I know a little bit, I will share it with you. Right. So you go, consult a trainer. Mention that this, this is what I want to do. Mm. Let the expertise come and tell you, do this and do that. Right. Today is your first time. Do you have any medical conditions? Explain whatever is there. Mm. Just like a doctor. We are, trainers are a bridge between the client and the doctor. Right. We are a bridge. Right. We don't let you go there. Right. You understand? Right. So same thing you do. When you go to a doctor, he'll ask you, what's your mm. condition? I wouldn't know, right? Yeah. Until I don't, you don't tell me. Mm. So if I'm a doctor, you come to me, sir, I'm sick. Okay, but what happened? Mm. Same way, you come to me and say, I want to work out. Fine. Mention these points. This is my condition. This, this is what it is. Right. Okay. Then this is the workout. Have you worked out before or mm. not? No. Okay. This is what you're going to do. Then you start working out and then right. make sure that the trainer is with you. Mm. If you have to invest in the trainer... Helping you out for a couple of months till you are okay and then you can move on by yourself. Self sufficient, yeah. Do that. Yeah. We all do that. We all it's it's a, it's a very simple cycle. We just need to go back in time. Mm. When we grow up, we start going to school. After sc- uh, nursery, primary, high school, college, university, then you are on your own. Until then you have the back backup of teachers. Mm. I'm not saying later on the teachers are never there, they are there. Yeah. But they will help you. Yeah. Same like trainers. We'll train you as much as we can after you have achieved your goal and stuff and then you are free to go because you have learned whatever you can. You can always re- come back and say, Raj, please show me this. Abhimanyu, how do we do this? I kind of forgot. Or is there something new? Mm. You can always come back and that builds a relationship. Right. So same thing. It's Everywhere is the same thing. 
So everybody should do that. I mean, go to the trainer, consult, right. you know, take help. If you know your stuff, fair enough, yeah. good. But then don't be that egoistic, arrogant idiot that you mm. know everything. Yeah. No, because there's always a bigger fish mm. everywhere. Yeah. So go, be down to earth, be humble, go and say, okay, this is what it is. Right. You know, because now nowadays what people do is go on YouTube, check, oh, he has yeah. a bicep, he's doing like this. But understand that person is working according to him. Mm. No harm in doing it, but ask. First question, ask. And if you're new, take a trainer's help, get your program well done. And as far as the food is concerned, nutrition, coming back to it, you can always consult a nutritionist. If the trainer knows about Same. nutrition, yeah. very good. Ask him, what can I eat? Yeah. What should I not eat? Mm. People think, by taking protein shakes. Yeah, that's the fitness thing. Now. Everyone. Yeah. Young boys come and ask me, right, sir, what if I take uh, protein? Am I allowed to take? I said, <laughs> eat food. Yeah, we, you know? we, yeah and so uh, this is like uh, another pressing concern. Mm. They are still fighting over which is the better brand. Should I go for isolate? And pe- not serious people. People like you know, who are just you've just joined the gym for you know, some See, I'll tell you how it works. You know, sometimes it's when you idolize somebody, right? Okay, so now I know that Arnold used to eat like this, yeah. The rock eats 20 pancakes. Yeah. How will I eat 20? Pancakes? There is a rock, <laughs> I'm not the rock, yeah. I can eat four, okay, five. Hmm. Bees kid at home, right? That is his appetite, yeah. I can't be the rock. He's having 5,000 calories, I can't have 5,000. Oh, calories. I'll kill you <laughs> exactly. I will. Blow up from somewhere, <laughs> not be good for me. Yeah. So, people, brand, you see, at the end of the day, protein is protein. It is made from one thing. You yeah. collect milk water and then you get protein. Yeah. The brand is the same. You have your shoes, uh-huh. running shoes are all the same, yeah. but you have different brands yeah. Adidas, Nike. Mm-hmm. You have the money to spend. It's brand. It's brand so, yeah. when people come and ask me what protein brand should, which is good, I say there is no particular brand like that. Right. Personal choice. Mm. It's a person, simple. It's a personal choice. You can invest so much, do, yeah. but I would rather say, Buy a simple protein, mm. you want BCAAs, buy, if not, forget it. Yeah. Simple. You're having your meals properly, protein one scoop enough. And if you can't even do that, you think protein is expensive, good, have your meals finished up. So you're just sorted. Just you sure, at the gym work. every single yeah, day. Exactly. Yeah. Brands, is, it's just a game, man. It's, yeah. it's business. It's market. Yeah. It's marketing, simple. Yeah. And let's just address the elephant, you know. I really want to talk about uh, the steroids. Stuff like, like, what's the game? Really, I, you know what? I'm not actually that against if people, actors and models, all those who have to come in front of the camera mm. are doing it. Or even if people who are going up for stage, you know, they often uh, have this arguments that did Arnold do? I don't know, fuck, it doesn't matter. For me, it's like, you know, whatever they had to do. If they are taking the responsibility of fucking up their health, if it is, they're not cycling it or whatever the reason yeah, is. Yeah. So what I want to know, what like have you ever tried and did you ever and when you, do you think it's right or do you think it's wrong? No, okay. I haven't uh, ever tried it, but uh, as far as it is concerned, I mean on a general topic, what I have uh, understood over the years, obviously people talk, right. sometimes we tend to read yeah. and you do understand. So what happens is, one, I would advise people not to take it, Right. you know, yeah. obviously. So I, I know this name called Tren. That's the Tren. Yeah. So it, Trenbolone. Yeah, Trenbolone. Trenbolone. Yeah. Trenbolone. Yeah. Trenbolone. Yeah. yeah. So so it gives you that testosterone, testosterone boost. Extra testosterone. Right. Right. So and they also take something to reduce the estrogen levels. That's yes. only for competitors who yes. are going on yes. stage. Right? So that's what I mean. If you are competing, right. as far as it is concerned, try and be natural as right. much as you can. Right. But the thing is that to get that kind of a quality nowadays yeah. on, in your physique. Because you many at, are using it yeah. and they are like, Everybody uses it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm not trying to criticize again. I yeah. don't criticize nobody. I re- See, at the end of the day, whatever you take. Right. You know, people tell me this, oh, you'll not believe. I just come a little behind. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Parents think that protein has steroids. Well, where do you think those dumb ass things have steroids? Where have you heard this? That's you know, I, And I'd gone home. That's I had it. a family friend of mine asking yeah. me, so you take drugs? I said, what? <laughs> I said, what do you mean by drugs? Hold on. What do you mean by drugs? He said, no, uh, supplements. I said, supplements and drugs are two different things. <laughs> we, we, we are past that state. We know, exactly. we know. Yeah, now, now we know. But when, you, when you go to the doctor, he's giving, he's prescribing drugs to you. Is it bad for you? No. Right? <laughs> so, gonna... it's just the mentality of people. Yeah. Parents think protein has steroids. I've had people, I have had young boys, friends, yeah. who come around the rats and I want protein. I said, okay. But I have to save up. I said, okay. So, save up. No, that's what we all do. Yeah. No, but my parents don't have to know. Uh, I said, why would I tell them? Yeah. So, they hide it in the gym. Right. They keep it in the locker. They said, yeah. I'll come in. This is what they do, they end up doing. Right. So, I would advise people not to take steroids, mm. but 
And nowadays everybody takes. Right. Everybody, all those who compete, they take. Even the trainers who aren't competing, I know that they. they I don't do. know about the trainers yeah. specifically. I, I I honestly don't know about the yeah. trainers, but yes, when it comes to athletes and stuff, like yeah. see, if you compare the people abroad, yeah, and you compare the people here, okay. The thing is, when you're abroad, you have the facility. Mm. You have the people behind you to tell you what to do. Mm. Simple. When you're a cricketer, let's talk about a little bit of cricket. Mm. Uh, it's the in-game in India. It's the most worshipped game. Though yeah. hockey is the local national, I mean, the national, national game. Yeah. Cricket has been a big thing. Yeah. People love cricket more than England. Sachin Tendulkar, if he, had, he got hurt yeah. somewhere on his finger or something, he had 10 people behind him. Yeah. You have a physio, you have a doctor, your meals, these, that. Yeah. So those people abroad, the athletes abroad who are into competing and stuff, they mm. have people around them. Yeah. They have physicians. They have doctors, they have people who give them meals, proper, yeah. prepared, everything is monitored. Right. They don't just go and take those things and, okay, they train this, this, I know, put, put it. Mm. Go back to Rich Piana. He tried everything on his own. Right. Right. It must have screwed up a lot of mm. things inside his body. Your yeah. kidney is going for a toss, your liver here, there, your, uh, what do you call, heart rate also changes. A lot right. of things happen inside. Right. You understand? You have people around you who do that, who are guiding you. Again, it is different. But yeah. nowadays, it's become a business. Mm. Nobody will tell you what I'm putting in your body. Yep. They just tell you, I'm, come lie down, put, put it. Yep. No. And then you see the results. Don't do that. Yeah. As, as far as it is concerned, stay away from it. Yeah. Stay away from it. Right. I, I'd never advise people to take it. Stay away from it. Try and do whatever you can. If you are good with that way, please do that way. Mm. It's better. Nice. You know? So, yeah, steroids. I mean, kids find it a fad nowadays. Yeah, they yeah. think, oh, our tocha... You get that physique. <laughs> One thing I will tell you again, whether you take it or you don't take it, yeah. the amount of efforts that you have to put yeah. is always going to be two, three times more. You mm. take it, you still have to put effort. It's not that you come and poke your ass and then you say, oh, next day I've got my six pack. No, 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 my no, friend. No, no, no. It is still the same dedication you need when you're working out. Yeah. It is the same dedication you need when you're eating your meals. And it is the same dedication, discipline and respect that you need when you're sleeping. Every day. Simple. Every, day. Every single day of your life. No matter, yeah. come what me. Whether you are on a steroid cycle or you are not, hmm. you want to build a physique, you have to do that. You yeah. want to cut your fat, you have to do it. It's the same thing. Yeah. These are just enhancers. Hmm. They will only help you if you do these things. Hmm. You will only build a physique if you eat well and sleep well. Right. You miss out one, finish. Now, who are you going to blame? <laughs> People say, oh, because of steroids, he died. But see, he took more. Yeah. You don't understand. He's only poking more. The steroid is, I'm coming to you, brother. Hmm. Let me come inside. No, you went and bought it. Yeah. You didn't know the reasons behind mm -hmm. it. You consult somebody if you really want to. I'm sure there are people who do know. Yeah. It's just that people don't openly speak about it because mm -hmm. people have a very different, uh, you know, idea towards it, a very different uh, approach towards it. They say steroid, steroid. Don't say that. I've had an experience. I was at the medical store a couple of months back and uh, I'd gone to buy some uh, multivitamins. So there were two boys who were sitting there and they saw me. I said, oh, he must be taking steroids. I just dropped my back down. I wanted, I got so angry, I wanted to turn up to them and tell them, see, if you don't know shit, right, don't open your mouth. Yep. And if you think I'm taking, you have the balls, go and buy the stuff, shove it up your ass, poke it, go and build a physique, and then we talk. Yep. Before before knowing something, don't <laughs> judge somebody. Yeah. People judge. Yeah. Whoever are the bodybuilders, whether it's Phil Heath, Kai Green, or whether it is the Indian bodybuilders here, Sunit Jada, whoever is there, all the great bodybuilders, they put in a lot of efforts. I'm not saying they take or they don't take. I'm not even going there. Mm. But don't go and point somebody, oh, because of this, he's grown. Oh, no, mm. but look at the efforts. Yep. You see Shah Rukh Khan being the king of Bollywood. Number one, let's go to back to Bollywood. Let's go to the film industry. Right. Sachin Tendulkar being a good cricketer. He's playing in front. Have you seen what's happening behind? How, much, how many hours, what sacrifice he does to reach where he is? Mm. Nobody knows. Yep. They just want to see the rosy part. Look what he's done behind, right? Mm. He has spent so many hours just tuck, tuck, tuck. Your dedication. Shah Rukh Khan in front of the mirrors, yeah. practicing their scripts. The director, 10 times they'll tell them to do this. Move, move, mm. move. Hrithik Roshan dancing, breaking this, breaking that. Tiger Shroff, as a matter of fact. Mm. But still, they don't want to see that. Yeah. The moment they find out, hey, because of this. But wait, man. Watch what they do. Yeah. Go behind the screen. See the efforts that they put. Mm. This is what people don't understand. Yeah. You know, even regardless of the steroids also. Yeah. He's got six pack. It must be easy for you. This that but look what he's doing. Yeah. See the meals he's eating. He's reached there because he's doing something. Right. He's just not the Bhagwan Yao Dala. Check. It's not overnight, man. Rome was not built in a day. No, Neither can you yeah. struggle for so many years. <laughs> 10, 10, 15 years, we're still doing the same thing. Still there's nothing, no pop of any app here. Yeah. 
<laughs> you understand? So that's what people don't understand. They find it fat because they see things on TV. Oh, it's possible. It is. But see the work they put behind mm. Simple. So this is what it is. Even as a matter of fact, again, coming back to the term steroids, yes, there is a lot of effort that you need to put. Yeah. Those are just enhancing. It's just like supplement, all right? You are having a protein shake. It's not going to help you build the muscle no. if you're not going to eat mm. properly or sleep right. properly. Right. Work out properly. Simple. Now, you're going to call that a steroid? Mm. No, right? It's like this. Well, so, was, sorry, I hope there was not too much boring. Yeah, that was, I, that was I mean, whatever I know, that, that was necessary. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted to hear all of this, man. So yeah, but yeah, it was awesome, Raj. I yeah, think, I think yeah, yeah, it was good. I, yeah, man. it I was. It was I awesome. Gave all the right information. Oh, and, fuck that, um, man! That, that was amazing, man. That's good. Good. Thank yes. you for doing this, man. No, thank you for Cheers, inviting me, man. It was a pleasure. I'm glad I came and I got that opportunity. It's the first time actually I've you know come across something like this. And, I, uh, nice. I hope someday or the other we sit again and we talk about something else. Oh, yes, anytime. You need awesome. any topic, you want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm always awesome. ready. I love talking. <laughs> yeah, I love talking. Though people don't like me talking much, but I enjoy talking. Uh, you know, so whatever is there, yeah, anytime, man. Awesome. Yeah. Cheers. Cool.